Hope y'all having a good night. I just came in on a flight flight from Florida. Boy, that flight to Cincinnati. I'm sorry. I took I took a connecting flight from uh, Dayton to Cincinnati because my assistant didn't know where MapQuest was, <laughs> which really sucked for me because that was the worst hour and a half flight I've ever had. <laughs> I was in Florida for uh, not only a show but I went for an interfaith uh, convention, which uh, unfortunately. I was the only Muslim there. <laughs> so pretty much the, all the time I heard was, did you hear about what Terry Jones is doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, ma'am, I have no idea what this guy is. All I all heard is he burns Qurans, and that's all he does all day. <laughs> so anyway, the night before we left, I had a, uh, we were, they wanted, everybody wanted, for some odd reason, to go see the sunset. Now, if you're in Florida, it's 5 in the morning, and you, all you want to do is go see the sunset. You don't want to go to the beach. You want to do anything. You want to go see the sunset. Sunrise. I'm sorry. The sunrise. <laughs> sorry. Just an odd, just an odd moment. But anyway, I go along with them. It's really early. I've got my glasses on. My eyes are blood red just because I was up all night with my friends just doing random stupid things. And as we get there, you know, people are like crying over the sunrise, and I'm just sitting there like, I'm the same man here. But for some reason, at the end of the beach, something catches my attention. And what catches my attention are a group of flamingos. Now, when you combine pink birds with pink sky, for some reason, it just looks really nice. So I pulled out my camera phone, because I forgot my camera at the hotel. And I wanted to zoom in and get a picture of it, but I couldn't get a picture of it. Because for some reason, this cricket phone couldn't get zoomed. So I went in, so I walked closer. And for, I couldn't get a good enough picture the birds were moving. So I got closer and closer, and people are watching me at the same time. And I get closer, and I get close enough to the flamingos that I forgot that there's an important rule with flamingos that they forget to mention in the Discovery Channel. There's a three feet no pressure rule. <laughs> I get close enough, and the, and the flamingo who was eating off the floor lifted its head up, turned its head at me, and started trying to gouge my eye out. Now, of course, the defense mechanism at this moment is to kick the crap out of the flamingo. <laughs> I kicked the crap out of the flamingo. Now, all the other flamingos take witness to this. They all look at me. Now, I'm right now about ready to wet myself. Because all these little vicious flamingos, which years of watching the Discovery Channel, of course, they've all lied to me. You know, you all heard flamingos are nice, docile creatures. No, those are some assholes. They all took to the sky. And I lie to you not, they used me as target practice with their poo. <laughs> and of course I was uh, shitted on. <laughs> I was shitted on. And in the end, as I was walking off, embarrassed, the people around me took this as a photo opportunity. <laughs> I walked off mad, people were laughing. I was embarrassed. And as I'm walking away, I just happened to feel something on my leg. Now, just to let everyone know, I didn't know this because I'm a Daytonian, I'm from Dayton, that, there you, that you do not walk in the grass of Florida. Never walk in the grass of Florida. Let me tell you why. Because in Florida, they don't have cats, squirrels, and mammals. No, they got lizards, geckos, spiders, bugs, you name it, they've got it that has more than four legs. And, I hate to tell you this, but as I was walking, I felt something slithering in my leg. And as I'm moving around, I'm like, what the heck? Oh my, what? Snake! Kick the snake off, and I'm just panicking. Next thing you know, at that in same instance, I got something crawling up my back. And it was a gecko. Freaking out from the gecko. I'm sort of slapping myself and everything. People are still taking pictures of this. I'm surprised it's not even on YouTube. But, uh, so throughout the Interfaith Conference, it was great and everything, and came back here to perform here tonight. And uh, I'd just like to leave you all with uh, one, uh, one tiny little joke, because like I said, I'm a Muslim. Do you know what the difference is between Muslim hospitality and terrorism? No guesses? You can negotiate with the terrorist. <laughs> like to uh, thank you all. Now please give a round of applause for my friend Todd Ford. <laughs>